welcome back to another week of Sunday School Online. I hope you've all had a good week this past week. Um, we have been to the beach this week, haven't we? Mm -hmm. Very fun. Um, and we've been making sandcastles and we're throwing rocks into the sea and jumping in the waves. Um, but do you know what? There was something bad that happened to me. Should I tell them the bad thing? No, You're going to tell them? A dog weed on mum. She... Her, she put her hand in dog poo and um, what was the other one? Well that was it, the other day I had another bad thing with the dog didn't I? But yes, while we were at the beach I was digging in the sand, kneeling down and a dog just came and weed on me. <laughs> Which really wasn't very fun was it? And, um, and then I was throwing stones and as I picked up a handful of stones it was actually a handful of dog poo. Which is really great. Um, anyway, I hope you've had a better week and you haven't been weed on by a dog. Uh, <laughs> uh, oh, and you found some jellyfish, hope, didn't you? Jellyfish? Yeah, yeah I found some jellyfish. See. Yeah, tiny little, tiny little things. So, this week we've got another great Bible story to tell you. Um, I'm going to give you some clues and I want you to try and guess what Bible story it is. Okay, so, see if you guys can guess. Um, okay. This story is all about this. <sighs> Wind. wind. That is wind, yes. So it's all about wind. It's also all Fire about... Fire on the people's heads. This. Fire on... Fire on people's heads. Yeah, when there's fire on people's heads, do you know what it's called? It begins with a P. P. It's called Pentecost. And our story today is all about Pentecost. But if you don't know about the story of Pentecost, that's okay, because we're going to be having a look at it in a little bit. But first... To our challenge. Our challenge today is called All in a Flap. You will need a square on the floor. I've made one with marketing tape, but whatever you have. Then you'll need a newspaper and a feather. Oh, don't start yet. You need to get your feather into the square in the middle. You're not allowed to use your hands, only flapping your piece of paper. Are you ready? Steady, go. you get on at home do you remember when jesus died and came back to life again yes then around 40 days later he went to heaven yes and he promised that he would send a helper yes now the disciples wait were waiting for the helper he hadn't arrived yet and they waited and they waited for this helper now at this time in jerusalem where they were there was a festival called Pentecost and people came from all over the world to the festival of Pentecost and at this time all the disciples were together and they were in a house they went out in the festival maybe they were a bit scared a bit worried to be out and about not really sure but for some reason they were all together in a house and they were waiting for this helper what would you look like if you were waiting mm. <sighs> yeah, oh. yeah, 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 yeah. hurry up come on Anyway, it was just about this time that they heard a really strong wind. Can you make a strong wind? <sighs> Very good. And this strong wind was going all through the house and what looked like fire ah, on their heads. But, but it wasn't burning them. Oh. It was cool fire. Uh, it wasn't burning. It was actually the Holy Spirit. It was the helper that God had promised to send. And they all started speaking in different languages. Can you speak in a different language? Very good. They were all speaking in different languages. And they went outside and they started to speak in all these different languages and tell the people about... Jesus and how great what? he is. So remember I said that there were people from all over the world, so lots of different languages, and everybody could understand them in their own language. Even though they weren't actually great at Greek or another language at the time, Spanish, French, 
they just the holy spirit helped them to speak these languages and it helped them to be bold and to tell people in all these languages about god and Thanks. guess how many people became christians that day how much three thousand what isn't that amazing two million no it's three thousand people became christians that day and the bible says in acts chapter 2 and verse 38 it says repent so say sorry the bad things you've done and be baptized every one of you in the name of jesus christ for the forgiveness of your sins and you will receive the gift of the holy spirit so God promises to each of us who believe in him that he will give us his Holy Spirit. Isn't that amazing? And that Holy Spirit that helped the first disciples to be bold and tell other people about God is the same Holy Spirit that's with us. And that Holy Spirit helps us to be bold and to tell other people about God. Isn't that amazing? Mm -hmm. And each year on what's called Pentecost Sunday, which is the Sunday that's just gone, we remember and we celebrate the Holy Spirit coming as a helper sent by Jesus to all of God's people. So everybody that believes in God and that Holy Spirit helps us to be bold and to tell other people about God. So because we've been teaching you learning about fire, come down here, Sam. Hope has got some fire facts haven't you but i need to get my fire ready let me try and put this on oh see at the bottom careful there okay, okay let's have a look so if i get this really close you can see the flame there look at that it's amazing isn't it be careful if so I'm hey be why careful. is it blue at the bottom because um, it's the hottest part. So the so it glows blue. Let's see, that's very clever, isn't it? Even though have you got another fact, Hope? Hey? Another yeah. fire fact. Did you know that fire needs oxygen or air to work? So if we take the away the air, the fire won't work. Oh, so it needs oxygen to work. So if we take away, if I put it on this tray, and take away the air. Let's see, do you want to put that glass over the top of it? And we'll take away the air. Let's put it up here so everyone can see. Okay, go. Okay. All over the top to the bottom. That's it. Right, it's still going now. It's going to wait until the oxygen's used up. Oh, it's getting smaller. Then wow, then it's gone out because there's no more air in there, is there? No more oxygen. <laughs> so the fire needs oxygen to work. Wow. Our craft is a craft all about wind and fire. So I have got some red paint in here and I have put extra water in it and it's quite runny. What we're going to do is we're going to put a dab onto a piece of paper. I'll hold it up in a minute and show you. And then we can blow it. And it's turning in to a bit of a fire. Now, if you've got a straw, it would actually be easier to blow. I haven't got any straws today, but let's have a go at blowing it. Let's see how well you do. When you've had a go at home, send me a picture because I would love to see your finished artworks. It has been so great meeting with you again this week and um, I hope that you have enjoyed it. Before we go, let's just pray. Dear God, we thank you that if we believe in you, then your Holy Spirit is with us. Please help us to be bold to tell people about you. Amen. Amen. Oh, very good. Amen. See you all again next week. Bye. Bye. -bye.